Hi! As I've been looking around the internet, I've been seeing a lot of people asking about the effects of the different picture modes on the One X2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the different colour modes on the One X2 now, with just a short demo of each one, and then a quick comparison. Hope it's helpful. Cheers! So first up we've got the standard setting. Um, you can see with the standard setting the colours are actually pretty good. The shadows there on the right uh, look like they've got reasonable definition. Um, we can see a bit of difference between the left and the right lens there is in the middle of the screen in the sky as it goes past. But now as we sweep around into the shadows we see that we're, we're losing a bit of detail in the shadows but the colours still look pretty good there. They're quite punchy. This was quite a sunny day. Um, the shadows do fade out a bit. You know, they're, they're getting a bit a uh, bit dark to see what's going on as we get around to the barbecue area and as we come around to our stunningly handsome subject reading a book in the sun um, we can see that his shirt and the chairs which are very bright in real life do have quite strong visibility The next setting is standard with color plus rendering. So this is enabled by hitting the color plus rendering when you're coming out of Insta360 Studio. Um, immediately you can notice there's uh, more contrast. There's um, more difference between the shadows and the color. Um, and apparently we're getting more detail coming out of it. The, uh, the setting seems to draw out more detail. You can see in the, the stones on the left hand side and they're coming up in the barbecue area that you can see quite a lot of detail in the stones that you couldn't previously in the standard mode. Um, the colors are still really punchy obviously um, and uh, the, the faded uh, orange of the tiles is contrasting pretty well with the red of the shirt. This is probably as bright as you would want the colors to go. They're, they're over, almost at the point of being oversaturated. Here in vivid mode, you can see what I mean. The greens are really, really punchy here. This is probably too saturated for my taste. And the, uh, the very, very bright blue in the sky is not necessarily a natural color you'd get. As we come around to the sunward side, um, we get more of a natural sky color. But now, because the colors are so punchy, the blacks are really, really black. And so we're losing a lot of detail in the hedge as we come around. And the detail in the stones is nowhere as clear as it was in standard mode with color plus. So we come around to the human subject. Um, the reds are really, really pumping to the point where these are reds that you would not find in reality. They're, they're probably too bright. Um, this could be good for action shots, but for day-to-day -day filming, it could be a bit much. HDR video mode uh, is an interesting one because it shoots in a quite different format. You don't get to preview it as it's going. And uh, it's combining three different Im images at three different exposures to create the, the, the level of color that you're getting. This should mean that you get more contrast and uh, more detail in the light end and more detail in the dark end. But what we're ending up with is actually a, a slightly oversaturated image. Um, it's a little bit muddy as it tries to combine the three different shots into a single shot. Um, and the detail begins to get lost. I wouldn't be using HDR video mode in standard day-to-day -day shooting. It, uh, it loses detail for the color trade-off that you get. A lot of people never shoot in log mode, and this is log mode in action. I've taken the log footage um, and done a quick color grade of it using Premiere Pro. Um, this is ProRes video, so I rendered this as ProRes before I loaded it into Premiere to make sure I had the highest quality video going in. Um, what surprises me as I look at this is we've actually got a little bit of grain. Um, if you take a look in the shadows, you um, you can see a little bit of grain popping out um, here and there. The um, the detail's good, the colors good, and and you know ProRes is what you normally use for high quality. When I'm shooting on my Sony camera, um, you know ProRes and log mode is are my go-to. But here, yeah, the um, we're losing. In the attempt to draw out more detail, we're, we're getting more noise in the image. For the next images, what I thought I'd do is combine the, the modes so you can see how they look together. So here we've got standard, standard with color plus, 
vivid mode and the HDR mode side by side. And you can start seeing the differences clearly between them here. Standard mode looks fine, but you can see the Color Plus draws out more details straight away. Vivid mode, the colors really punch, but uh, you're losing a lot of detail in the shadows, and, and on the whole, the, the trade-off for more color is giving you less detail. The HDR mode's similar again. Really, really strong colors, but the, the detail of the image has faded away quite sharply. So, you know, comparing these four side by side, I've got to say that either Standard or Standard Plus would be what I'd be using the camera on, on a day-to-day -day basis. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop out the HDR mode, and we'll put in the log footage as a comparison. So here we are, the same set of shots, but here I've swapped out the HDR footage for log. And you can see the log, um, really, really nice footage. Uh, it's, it's up there in, in terms of quality and in terms of naturalism um, with the standard Color Plus. But what I am noticing with the log when I compare it with the standard Color Plus is we're getting a little bit of grain, uh, a little bit of a grainy image. It's not quite as clear as I would like. And in, in fact, there you see the stones in the vivid mode are popping more than they were in the log footage. And then as it comes around now into the standard mode, the stones again, quite strong. Um, whereas the colors are quite natural in the, the log mode. The, uh, the color plus mode didn't require any fiddling and just worked straight out of the camera. To get that log footage graded, I had to load it in Premiere and then grade it manually because there are no LUTs available for the One X2. So here we look at the four side by side and, you know, by all means, zoom this in as big as you want to watch it. But, you know, they're all usable footage. But you can see straight away that the vivid mode is really, really punchy colors, but you're trading off the, the quality there. So I think we're down to standard, standard color plus and the log mode. Log mode, I'm really pleased with. It's, it's looking good, but it's a lot of fiddling to get there. You, you're messing around with the software. You're, you're messing with your color levels, your shadows, um, trying to find the right level for your setting. Whereas the standard color plus mode was literally just to hit the button straight out of the camera. Um, and you can see the detail in the stonework um, with the standard color plus just completely nails all the other footage there. So side by side, color plus and the log mode, we can see with the log mode that, you know, we're getting a, a slightly more realistic, but slightly um, more muddy image. The, the color plus mode, again, really popping. So, you know, I, I think here the results are beginning to talk for themselves. Um, the, the sensor on the One X2 isn't enormous, and log is designed for professional use. It's designed for getting the highest quality data you can out of the sensor. Um, garbage in, garbage out. If, um, if it's optimized for using its own mode, then you're probably wasting your time shooting log footage with the One X2. Well, that was an interesting set of results. i uh, got to admit, that was not entirely what I was expecting. Normally, I'd uh, take a look at what the manufacturer recommends and go with that. Insta360 always recommend Vivid Mode with the One X2. Uh, do not shoot in Vivid Mode on the One X2. The colors are oversaturated. Uh, it's, uh, it's not particularly clear. It doesn't make for a particularly good picture. It appears that Standard Mode with Color Plus shoots really well, really cleanly, and gives you a nice clean image with good colors. Um, it looks like you could get really good footage with log if you're prepared to fiddle around with it a lot. But what I found interesting with the log footage was the amount of grain that was getting introduced. Um, so it appears that you know standard mode with color plus is definitely the way to go in outdoor lighting conditions with a bit of shadow and uh, yeah, a bit of variation in your in, in your surroundings. So yeah, um, standard mode with color plus would seem to be the best bet. If you disagree, let me know in the comments, and um, by all means, point me at your examples. I'm really interested to see what different people are shooting. Have a good one.